Overnight, flash floods, mudslides, and widespread destruction in the Northeast. This water is at least four to five feet high. Nearly a foot of rain falling in just hours in western Connecticut. Streets and sidewalks were suddenly overwhelmed by water moving fast enough to carry away cars. Cars shut down because it sensed the water, and unfortunately, I was in the process of just backing right out of it. At least two people were missing overnight after they were swept away by the current, and more than 40 people were stranded at a campground after a bridge was washed out, cutting off their escape route. Rescuers rushing to save dozens of drivers trapped in the flooding. One good Samaritan was seen jumping into action to help rescue a man and his dog after this car was surrounded by water. In New Jersey, a major highway was brought to a standstill by a half a foot of rain, and trains between New York and Philadelphia stopped running for a time, the storm also canceling and delaying hundreds of flights. Meanwhile, Hurricane Ernesto is still causing chaos on the coast after causing damage in Bermuda. New York City beaches are closed again today due to the threat of dangerous rip currents. And in North Carolina, storm surge from Ernesto washed this home right off its foundation. Elsewhere, some states face blistering heat. At least 100 people in Colorado Springs suffered heat-related illnesses during an air show on Sunday where temperatures were nearing triple digits. And in Alabama, oh my goodness. a day of fun turning to terror as a surprise storm sent this bounce house flying through the air. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York.